Alright, I am back. Um, more or less of the same thing. I'll go ahead and start. Oh, I'm not here. What am I doing? Uh, journal. I'll go ahead and find some quests, and I'm not sure which ones yet. That's what I forgot. Dang, alright. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, one of the. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this one is. I think this is the one I'm thinking of, and it wasn't easy, so uh, just bear with me and go ahead and mute myself. Here we go.
Can you believe it? Dragons in your own homeland. What are you going to do? This one does not know. You're back. Guess you weren't eaten by ghosts. Well, any day you aren't eaten by ghosts is a good day, yes? Though you may feel different after what happens next. Look alive, slobs. We've a new inductee into our group. Finally, I'm not the new guy anymore. Nope, you'll always be the new guy, Mindil. Enough. Let's get this over with. Always such a ray of sunshine, Thalys. Now, a toast from everyone. To the new meat. May they never wet their pants except from drink. <laughs> <laughs> to the new meat, whose best attack is showing their face. <laughs> to the new meat, too brave to run, too dumb to dodge. <laughs> <laughs> to the new meat, don't die. Really? Just sing the damn song. Who knows no fear of beast or blade? Undaunted! Undaunted! Undaunted. 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 Who knows no fear of Daedric Plains? We, we are, are Undaunted. Undaunted! Who knows no fear of death of a... Undaunted! Undaunted! Undaunted. Undaunted. We are Undaunted. Undaunted! You weren't singing, Talis. You're fat and old. Turok, it's true. Ungrateful fools, they both of you. Go back to your drinking and brooding. And Milksop, welcome to the Undaunted. And that's our special Undaunted song. Did it hurt to hear as much as it did to sing it? Yes, sounds like an Undaunted to me. Welcome to the group. What? Were you expecting a big ceremony, full of pomp and confetti? We do things a bit different here. How are you doing, Milksop? Kill any big scary monsters this week? What we all do. Prove you fear no creature, living or dead. Find the fiercest, wildest, most dangerous monsters in Tamriel and face them down. Show them the meaning of Undaunted. We are experienced adventurers. We can teach you skills and tactics a soldier cannot. Our battlefields are the deeps of Tamriel. There's also a cache of weapons and equipment found on our adventures for sale. Much more exotic than the local armory. Out by the old release tombs, you'll find the banished cells. It's just a rumor, but I've heard there's an undead king there, and he's quite a handful for those who guard him. Sounds worthy of a visit. How often do you get to see an undead king? Can you believe it? Dragons, in your own homeland! What are you going to do? This one does not know, but he hopes his family is safe in Riverhold.
Totems will continue to gather the harvest and bring the containers here. In the meantime, use the lift and come see our oasis. share a few words of advice with the hopefuls that weren't selected before I take the new apprentice under my wing. The Everwound Wellspring provides excellent opportunities for the novice apostles. You must be one of the new arrivals I've heard so much about. Everything in the Clockwork City, the soil, the flora, the fauna, it's all composed of gears and pistons and metal. It's like that everywhere. Everywhere that is, except here. Because Sotha Seal set the wellspring in this metallic desert and blessed it with a reservoir of water. An exceedingly rare thing in the Clockwork City. He planned to create an oasis, but moved on to other projects before the task was done. We had water and a pressing need. It didn't take me long to figure out how to make actual living plants grow in this artificial soil. Now, save. Come, everyone! Follow me into the viewing garden. My friends, the wellspring enjoyed a bountiful harvest. Let me show you how we accomplish our miracles. Simulated sunlight allows our trees to produce fruit sweeter than the orchards of Vardenfell. These pipes carry an alchemical solution that nourishes our plants. Totems harvest the plants and pack them in special containers to keep them fresh before we distribute them to Clockwork City. We take clippings from the most robust plants to produce stronger varieties. Someday, 
we'll be able to grow plants outside these walls. Every season, we share our bounty and select a new apprentice from among the novice apostles. By the way, where did my new apprentice wander off to? My new apprentice, Sherizar. Where did she disappear to? Oh, she's off to a bad start. A very bad... And have two novices wandering around the oasis unsupervised? <sighs> very well. Go find Sherizar and return to me with all due haste. Quickly now. The work of the Wellspring can't wait for an idle apprentice. That's a complicated subject, and... a special day, but it turned out all wrong. There's something not right with this oasis. Sometimes a gear slips or a cylinder throws a piston. This place reminds me of that. Specifically, I saw my old friend Shirhari down one of the corridors. When I tried to go talk to her, the factotums blocked my path. They drove me off. That's the question, isn't it? And it's the reason I have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Why restrict where an apprentice can go? And why refuse to let me talk to Shirhari? It makes no sense. No, I'd rather speak to Shirhari. I know her. I trust her. Lector Naril? He's still a stranger to me. Will you help me get past the factotum so I can talk to my old friend? at the sight of you. It's so good to see you too, Shirhari. You shouldn't wander the wellspring unsupervised. It's dangerous. The factotums don't respond well to visitors they haven't been formulated to recognize. And the fact A new apprentice? Really? But what does Shirhari know of such things? This one works in the dark and grows fungi, molds, and mosses. The Lector keeps me too busy for other concerns. Shirhari doubts there's anything sinister going on. So the seal blessed the wellspring with water, and Lector Naril's alchemical solutions make it possible to grow plants. It's good to see Sherizar, though. We could use the help. Apprentice? Sherizar is the first new apprentice to enter the wellspring in years. The Lector stopped selecting apprentices after poor Gathal's accident. At least, that's how this one understands things. I suppose Idrono might know differently. Idrono works with Shihari. He attempts to grow non-fungal plant life in harsh conditions. Since you're going to speak to him, could you bring along some of my mushrooms? But not the poisonous ones. He hates those. Idrono will be grateful for the fungi samples, even if he seems agitated. He gets that way during the harvest. Make sure to bring him safe ones, though. My notes can help you identify the various types we grow. No. Only the Lector can do such things. But perhaps this one has the next best thing. My plaque of safe passage. As long as you carry it, the factotums should leave you alone. Take it. It won't stop fabricants, however, so be wary of those beasts. Shirhari will be fine. 
There is much to do right here, and the factotums are formulated to recognize me. The plaque is a precaution, for the most part. This one will get another one before the next work cycle begins. Naril talking to you through this speaking tube. I assume that you and Sherazar have been exploring the wellspring. We've built something impressive here, don't you think? Other apprentices? Oh, you mean Sherazar's predecessors, the ones selected during the past few harvests. About them, well, they've been dealing with a very special experiment. Utterly secret, you understand? Certainly. Just as soon as you report to me. I must complete Sherazar's orientation and training. Some parts of the wellspring can be extremely dangerous. I'll expect you back in the viewing garden before three gears click into place. Apprentice? How curious! And are those samples of Shiahari's mushrooms? Excellent! I've been anxious to taste the new harvest. Hmm. Texture similar to guahide, flavor equivalent to wet moss. Not what I hoped for. Interesting question. As far as I know, no new apprentices have entered the wellspring since Garthal's accident. But I have a bigger concern. At least Shihari can grow mushrooms. My plants refuse to live no matter what I do. Of course, Lectinaral tasked each of us with a different experiment. I'm attempting to grow plants without the benefit of the simulated sunlight. 
I haven't had any success so far, but someone has to tackle the difficult experiments, I suppose. Lecter Narl developed it using techniques he still refuses to share. The simulated sunlight provides nourishing energy that makes most of the plants we grow thrive. Not my plants, mind you. Oh, no, that would ruin the experiment. Oh, Towen's been with Lecter Narl the longest. She might know something more. He'll need to cross my garden to reach her. Just watch out for the blasted fabricants. They keep eating my plants and clogging up the gears. I just don't understand why my plants won't grow while Shihari and Oto and have no trouble making things bloom. It's an absolute annoyance. And so are those fabricants. Feel free to smash them to bits on your way through the garden. What's to tell? Gathal died. Happened in Lectinarul's private workshop. We're not allowed in there anymore. Now let me think. I need to figure out how to make my plants do something. Anything other than wither and die. Denaril talking to you through this speaking tube. I had such high hopes for you, Sherizar. Why do you defy me? I see. And does this have to do with the endeavors of the Wellspring? I suppose I can't fault you for your initiative and willingness to get right to work. I just wish... Prohibited. Mm, that's a harsh word. No, we don't have any restrictions in the Wellspring. But Sherizar will have a better understanding of how things work here once she returns to me and completes her orientation and training. Did he? My workshop isn't restricted. It's just... private. You must see the necessity for a space of my own. No matter. Finish your task and we can discuss this in more detail. I have impressive plans for you and my new apprentice.
interruptions are counterproductive. The seventh law of Gears teaches us that. Well, since you've already distracted me, you might as well tell me what you want. Idrono. His experiment was doomed from the beginning. You can't grow plants without a source of nourishing light. My plants thrive thanks to the use of Lectonaro's simulated sunlight. But I wasn't informed we were getting new apprentices. That was the practice until Gathal died. Then the Lector sealed his private workshop and gave us these experiments to conduct while he perfected his simulated sunlight. It makes our annual harvest possible. If there were other apprentices, I'd know. I suppose Lector Naru could have more apprentices toiling in his private workshop. He keeps numerous secrets, so what's a few more? You can enter the workshop through the busted vent over there. Ignorance of his rules might grant you some leeway. Lector Naru's private workshop is restricted, but I don't expect you to find anything. If he catches you snooping around, feign ignorance and beg forgiveness. What's the worst he could do? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose he could turn you into plant food. Lecter Narville is one of the most respected clockwork apostles currently operating within Lord Set's great experiment. Every novice wants to become his apprentice, and every sentient in the Brass Fortress hopes to partake of his bountiful harvests. That's a long and complicated tale. The short form is that he was one of Sotha Seal's most trusted warrior scholars. When our great master abandoned the Wellspring for other endeavors, Naro stepped in to fill the gap. He's been here ever since. An unfortunate factotum accident happens occasionally. Sometimes the poor contraptions just get overheated and explode. That's why I prefer to work at a significant distance from the machines. Say, a good 30 paces or thereabouts. Lector Narville is one of the most respected... That's a long and con... I'm very disappointed, Sherizar. Shirhari's plaque of safe passage has been rendered inoperable. Now, return to me immediately. Narrow's a clockwork apostle. He must keep meticulous notes. We need to examine them. That's the story of how the Everwound Wellspring was created. Lecter Naru picked up where Sokasia left off. perfected his alchemical solution. I wonder how they solved the problem.
for making the wellspring work. I wonder how they finally got the simulated sunlight to nourish the plants. The source of the simulated sunlight is the light force of the missing candidate? That's horrible. We need to see what's inside Narville's private workshop. Doctor? The apprentices! It sucked the life out of them! This is the Lector's simulated sunlight inductor. And just as we read in his notes, he's using the life force of the most recent apprentices to power the device. So the seal would never approve of this. Never in a million clicks of the great gear. No. If we leave, Lector Narul will just use Shirhari or one of the others. We have to do something. We have to stop this madness. People shouldn't be turned into plant food. At least not while they're still healthy and vibrant. It's not natural. So now you know the secret of the wellspring. You see your role in our grand plan. Time is short. The life force of the previous apprentices is nearly depleted. There's nothing to be done for these poor apprentices. The inductor has drained every drop of life from their bodies. But what if Le the Lector lied? He tricked the apprentices and killed them. But the machine does allow the plants to grow and provides food for the Clockwork City. I wonder, what if someone willingly sacrificed themselves to feed the people? You're right. The sacrifice is too great. Lector Narl turned Sotha Seal's dream into a nightmare. I'll work with the remaining apprentices. Together, we'll find another way for the Everwound Wellspring to help the Clockwork City. How horrible! Those apostles... all dead? Not just dead. Drained of life to create the simulated sunlight. Still, it's an amazing device. Lector Narl's a true genius. A genius? Look at this, Narl's insane! Narl's dead, and this work is an affront to Lord Set and everything he's taught us. I won't argue that point, but you can't deny that Narl accomplished what the Clockwork Mage never quite got around to doing. This one rejects that plan. A life is worth more than a harvest, more than a hundred harvests. This isn't our decision to think. We should go before the Council. No. There's no decision to make. I'm shutting this horrid contraption down right now. <laughs>
We're the apprentices of the Everwound Wellspring. We'll figure out a way to save the plants. You really think so? We are up to such a task. We're clockwork apostles. Of course we can do this. Now, let's get to work.
Move, move! You think the danger are going to wait for you? I sense life.
Edora Oko Ta. Alright, might as well turn my mic back on. Um, I don't really have anything to talk about per se, it's just that I don't really have any main quest stuff I'm to do for the rest of the video, so might as well talk. Fine. Hello, a Neo, I guess. Let's see if I have the other one. See if that works. If I have enough. Yeah, like I said, I realize like I tend to cut off dialogue sometimes, and it's only by accident. Because I uh, think I hear the last part of the sentence, and it just turns out I'm it's just me reading it, I guess. But uh, it's a big deal. The worst case is I could read the subtitles later or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm, I'm pro probably going to take a break at uh, part 180, just to switch over to another game. It's most likely Doom, just because uh, I've been thinking about it for a while now, so uh, that's probably definitely top of my list. But uh, of course I am paying a Bethesda game right now. So I might might want to take a break, who knows? <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. I usually end up having to wing it anyways, but uh just depends. Try and go to crafting again just to be safe. And um, let's see if I can uh, make any last adjustments. Uh, like I say, I could, I wish I had more storage so that way I could actually complete quests, you know? So I tend to get a little. Um, uh, Paranoid at the end, you know. I don't know how to explain that, but uh, I'm always afraid that I run out of time or something. So I tend to rush through the last bits, but eh, I'm trying to get better about that, you know. So I'll probably do that uh, next part of the main quest in the next video, but we'll have to see. It's just uh, I'm trying to prevent myself from getting burned out of this game like I do sometimes. 
uh, well, it's not burned out, it's just that it gets uh, a little exhausting after a while, so I need to refresh myself, but, um, we're playing another game, you know. Uh, empty, yeah, empty. I don't like having all this extra stuff, if I, not that I'd be able to use it for anything, it's just like, I might as well sell it. Um, to the bank. But yeah, like I said, if my videos are like ever cut out for this game, it's just all either, it just depends on where it is. If it if I'm around here, I'll just do the Ritz. If not, um, I'll just have to leave the game where it is, you know. This is what it is. But I try to, my best to do the Ritz daily, just for the extra experience. Uh... I also need money in the oh wait. Wait, where where, where is it show money? I don't even remember. Let's see if I can withdraw it. Do I have any cash in the bank? Oh I do. How funny. Yeah, I'm just gonna take all of it because I didn't realize I had all this money. Think funds. Oh, well, all right. I had a bunch of extra um, cash Five. or gold, whatever they call it in this game, currency. And I accidentally deleted a couple of these. Um, search glass ones just by accident because I was looking at stuff through my main uh, page trying to unlock some achievements and for whatever reason I wasn't paying attention and uh, deleted a couple. I honestly don't know how to get them back if I ever can, which I doubt. But so I'm doing woodworking for where? I don't know about that name. Eh, oh well. Worry about later, but I've cut down the quest, which is good. That was an end goal uh, when I started back up. Uh, but do I have anything else to talk about? I don't think so. So I'll go ahead and end the video here. So yeah, peace out.